Hi, I'm Joseph with Go Engineer. Today I want to take you through some of the user maintenance on the J55 3D printer. These are things that you'll need to do frequently. Today is cleaning the print heads. This is one of the most important because you need to do it after every single print to keep the heads working properly and your parts looking great. It's pretty simple. We just need a few things. We need the alcohol, a glove, and the lint-free lint cloth. To get started, go into Tools, Wizards, and then Routine Cleaning. It gives you a list of everything you need to, to do and will need to perform the cleaning. Hit Start, and it will go through the process of getting the printer ready for the cleaning. It's going to move the head out so we can access it as well as bring the heads to the proper cleaning temperature. This takes a few minutes, so use that time to gather up your uh, cleaning materials. Put on your glove, and I always fold the cleaning cloth into quarters. I just find it fits better in my hand, and I can get more of the alcohol in it. I want to get the, the cloth pretty darn wet, uh, almost dripping wet. You want it to be all the way so that you're cleaning the print heads and not just smearing around the print material that's stuck on top of them. This will help them get cleaner and last longer. Once it's ready to go, I'm going to show you how I go through the cleaning process. You'll see a list of items to make sure are cleaned on the screen but I found I like an order of working right to left to do the light, the roller, the heads, and then the cleaning bath, as well as the print tray and under and around it, everything. I like that because it puts everything into a linear path. It's very easy to get everything and not forget anything. So we'll show you how I go through all of that as soon as the printer is ready to go. Now that the printer has reached its proper cleaning temperature, we're ready to open up the door and clean it out. So when the door is open, we can see inside we've got the light on the right, the roller uh, second, which will start rolling for us so it can be cleaned very easily. Then we've got the print heads and in the back left is the purge container. So I always like starting with the UV light. Just give it a quick little rub. What we're trying to do is keep off any little droplets of material from caking on top of the light and preventing it from shining properly. Then I flip it to a new spot so I'm not putting any, uh, any dried gunky material onto the next part and I just slowly drag my hand along the roller because it's spinning for us, I just need to slide my hand. I go from back to front and get it all the way clean. Okay. Then again, I open and fold over the cleaning cloth so it's on a clean spot. Put my hand. My I, I like I like to put my three fingers on the three print heads. Then I've got even pressure on all three, and just slowly go back and forth being careful not to catch the corners and give it a good cleaning. If you've got colors in there, you can usually see some of the color coming off on the cloth. Then I just slid the cloth down to a clean spot again, just to, just to get it a little extra. Okay, now for the last side of my cleaning cloth, you reach in and flip open the wire locking tab and then you see the little squeegee in there, that's what you want to clean, just the front and top of that. Just give it a little cleaning so that it doesn't drag any old material onto the print heads while, while they're being cleaned. Make sure you close and lock the waste container. And also make sure you clean off the build tray from any residue left over from the printing process. All right. Double check by clicking all of the items that you have now cleaned. Of course, making sure that you did clean them and hit next. Okay. 
Then you have the option of raising the print tray so you can clean underneath it and keep the entire printer all clean. If it's all totally clean, you can hit the end wizard right now, but we're going to go ahead and do all the cleaning. So we'll hit next, and it will now raise that bed out of the way for us. When the bed stops moving, it unlocks the door, letting us open it up. Then we can get in and just clean around the edges, anywhere you see any leftover material or debris from the printing process. Make sure you get all that wiped down and clean. Close the door, check off that we got the cleaning done, hit next, and now the, clean, the printer is going to go through the last of the cleaning process. It's going to squeegee off really fine clean the, those print heads uh, after doing a quick hard purge just to make sure everything is clear and clean and then it will be ready to go for your next printing. If this was helpful, we appreciate a like and a subscribe. Stay tuned for other user training videos on this and other 3D printing systems. Thank you so much.